I want to plead with you. Spare Kenyans the time. Spare us the money. Spare us the effort. Please resign like the commissioner Nyangaya did. Wale watatu wa mebaki. Ili tusipeleke nchi yetu kwa mambo mingi. Nisemi hizi kutoka kwa viongozi wa chama tawala cha Kenya kwanza waliwataka makamishi na watatu wa IBC Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit na Francis Wanderi wanao andama kufuata nyayo za kamishi na Justice Nyangaya na kujuzulu zinazoonekana kufika nyumbani kwa makamishi na hao. Naibu mwenyekiti wa IBC Juliana Cherera akijiuzulu mapema leo akisema kuwa matendo yake ya kujitenga na matokeo ya kura za urais yalifanyika kwa roho nzuri ila yaliweza kuhukumiwa vibaya. Kupitia barua aliyomwandikia Rais William Ruto ya kujiuzulu, Cherera akisema kuwa tangia kujiunga kwake na tume ya IBC aliweza kutekeleza wajibu wake kikamilifu na kumshukuru Rais William Ruto kwa kumpa fursa ya kuitumikia taifa. Mrengo wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya ukiwa umepanga maandamano ya kupinga kuondolewa afisini kwa makamishi na hao wakimlaumu Rais William Ruto kwa kucheza karata za uchaguzi wa mwaka 2027 ila sio kuwahudumia wa Kenya. And to remind those in authority that all legislation relating to elections in this country is normally negotiated. The law they are trying to amend was negotiated in 2017. Similarly, all laws relating to elections and to IBC must be negotiated and we shall not tolerate skewed legislation, partisan legislation, trying to introduce a William Ruto Electoral Commission, not even a Kenya Kwanza, a William Ruto Electoral Commission. Kwa sasa, wengi wanategea kuona iwapo makamishi na Irene Masit na Francis Wanderi watafuata mkondo huu wa kujuzulu au watakabiliana na jopo kazi liloundwa kuchunguza malalamishi dhidi yao. Jopo kazi hilo linaongozwa na jaji Agri Muchelule. <tune>